On this edition of Red Sox Academy, we're with Red Sox pitcher Stephen Wright, and we're talking about the knuckleball. And it's kind of a smile comes to your face, <laughs> smile comes to everybody's face. It's, uh, we watched Tim Wakefield for so many years, and, and just how do you throw this pitch that, that there's a mystery to the rest of the world? For me, I throw with no seams. I'm like in the middle of the seams. I know Dickey and, and Wake and some of the other guys are right in the horseshoe. But for me, it's, you know, I start in the, with no seams, and then I really try to keep my wrist locked. And so when I come, uh, you know, talking over on the first base side of the rubber, is I really try to keep my hand going down the hallway. You'll see a lot of knuckleballers talk about throwing down a hallway, like so you don't get rotational, you get more sh like a catapult kind of just throwing and stay along the lines and just pull down and just try to kill the spin. And try to keep that wrist locked because you don't want you don't yeah, want you don't want you, too much limit wrist action because with the wrist action you you get. You like get spin on the that's ball, and that's the worst thing you now can do. Now it's becoming more of a... It becomes a loopy curveball or a slider, <laughs> and those are the ones you that you yeah. get back from the umpire, not from your All right, catcher. Kyle's going to come in. We'll have you uh, show him how to throw a couple. All right. So basically what I try to do is I try to stay like I'm down the, 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 the tunnel. And so when I lift, I come straight down. And when, so when my foot lands, my shoulders are square, and I'm going straight through the target. Just try to keep your wrist locked. Yeah, just like that. And then just, when you throw it, think more arm, not hand. There you go. Try to come straight more, straight more at me. Don't come across. Straight more down. Yeah, no problem, man, anytime.